So looking at our prime factors and we need to use the factor tree. So here we have 100. Now this can be divided by 25 four times. And then we need to look at 25. This can be divided by five. And yes, this goes in five times, giving us two prime factors because we can't get that any smaller. Now let's look at number four. This can be divided by two, two times. So we write two there, two there, giving us two more prime factors. So that gives us two times two times five times five, which we would simplify as two to the power of two times five to the power of two. Or equally, we can enter it in on the calculator. So let's look at 68. If we don't know the factors of that, we're going to divide it by 2. So this gives us 34. Now, again, let's divide that by 2, which gives us 17. Now, as you can see, these are all prime factors. We can't get any smaller. So we'd write that as 2 times 2 times 17, which would mathematically write down as 2 to the power of 2 times 17. Now, if we had a calculator, we're going to enter 68, press equals, hit the shift key, and then the fact. And that is going to give us exactly the same answer, 2 to the power of 2 times 17. So let's look at prime factors. If we had 420, now we know this is divisible by 10 because it ends in a 0. So that gives us 42. Now let's look at the 10. 10 can be divided by 5 two times and that gives us five and two which are our prime factors so over to the 42 this can be divided by seven and this goes in six times now seven is a prime factor so we need to continue on with the six six can be divided by two and that goes in three times so that gives us all the prime factors so we would write it out like two times two times three times five times seven and then we would simplify that as 2 to the power of 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. And if we're using a calculator, we're going to enter 420 equals shift the facts button. And we're going to come out with exactly the same answer.